Hi guys, it's Jamila here from Slap. Today I'm doing a video on the new Glossier Sky Wash eyeshadows that have literally just dropped. I'm very excited to try them. They have seven shades. I picked three of my favorites. They're 15 pounds each, so they're not the cheapest, but if you get them on the Glossier website, which does ship to the UK and the US, get two for 25 as opposed to two for 30 so it's quite a good deal so it says powder finish formula that doesn't feel powdery smooths on with a dough for applicator silky blendable color melts into skin creating a pretty diffused effect that lasts a little bit adds some depth to the eye add more for a refined modern wash of color comes in seven shades 18 us dollars 22 Canadian dollars, 15 pounds, 18 euros. I'm gonna be kind of comparing it in my mind to the Stila one, which you guys know I love, and to the Kozas one, which I do really like. I love the color I picked, but the formula is very hit and miss. Sometimes it's really good, sometimes it's not. So I'm gonna see how these stack up. I did lots of swatches of all the shades. I'm gonna put an insert in. This is the packaging here. They all come with this kind of white base. And then they have a lid in the color of the shade. So Terra is kind of like a terracotta. Echo is brown. And then Lawn, random, <laughs> so random, is green. So it come, they all come with this dough for applicator. This is the shade Echo, very chilled brown. Just a nice kind of matte brown. It's quite a dark brown, which I think is good because it really means it will, you'll actually be able to see it on everyone which is nice, or at least 90% of people. Ooh, Terra's very creamy, actually. Terra's really nice. Terra is literally the kind of shade I would normally go for. This is Lawn. Terra definitely gave me the best first swipe. This is two layers of Echo. And you can rub them in quite easily before they dry down. So I'm gonna go in with Lawn. So that's Lawn with just one coat. I do quite like it actually. It is quite washed out, but it does give it a nice wash of colour. I'm going to go in with another layer. It's quite fun. I do quite like the colour. <laughs> I'm actually going to go on this side with a primer. P. Louise which is in the shade Rumor 06, which is a nice brown, but you can get it in so many shades, literally there's a shade for everyone. I've let the P. Louise dry down a little bit. And I don't know if it's just this one, but it really feels like there's nothing in here at all. But I do like this colour, I think it's really cool. And I quite like the wash it gives your eye. It's a bit harder for me because I do have quite dark eyelids. If you have naturally light eyelids, you probably won't need to prime them. You could probably just put a bit of powder on and it will be quite easy to use. But I do like this a lot. <laughs> so this is it, kind of with my eyes closed. The formula does look a tiny bit like Patch. It kind of looks like I've got paint on my eyes, but at the same time, there's something quite cool about it. And especially with your eyes open, I think it just looks really nice and brightening. I think with all the festivals coming out, it's a really cool thing to have. It's easy to use, obviously. I don't feel like there's half as much as there is in either the Stila or the Kozas. You get 3.5 mils in this. In the Stila, 4.5 mils and in the Kozas, which is huge, you get 6 mils. So you do get a lot more in the Kozas and you get more in the Stila. Like I always say, the Stila one's quite difficult because there's always some stuck at the bottom. But still, I do feel like for £15, it's not as expensive as the other two, but I feel like they could have put a bit more product in here because it does feel very empty. That is the lawn. I really, really like it. I think it's really cool. I feel kind of very edgy. And not everyone is gonna like lime green, but there's something about it that I really like. And it's probably my favorite green eyeshadow that I've ever used, <laughs> which says a lot. Edgy, edgy. So I'm gonna have to wash this off, which is quite sad. I'm emotional about it. 
but I'm going to do one terror and one echo on the other eyes just to save time and also because I realized that the eyeshadow primer really makes no difference at all. Next I'm going to try the brown which is the shade Echo. So this is a nice kind of dark rich chocolate dark brown and I've cleaned my eyes off with a kind of oily eye makeup remover. It came off really easily and really quickly. I'm really into kind of brown, chocolatey eyeshadows because I feel like they're kind of a nude um, for me and also they look really good on pretty much every skin tone because it's an earth colour. This one's a lot more watery than the lawn, the green one. It's just a lot more liquid. I feel like there's definitely more product in it. And I can actually do my eye with just the doe foot whereas with the lawn I had to kind of just dot it and then rub it in with my fingers just to see the colour. So this comes out very pigmented which is really nice. If I rub it in a bit. It's really weird because every single one I think oh this one's my favourite this is the one I'm going to wear. So which is a really good sign I do like all of them they kind of blend out very easily. They look very natural, very rich. They're really nice actually, I'm quite impressed with them. Now I don't know which ones to wear later, but hey. So that was Echo, the brown one. And the good thing about Echo is you don't really need to go in with another layer. It's pretty pigmented and it's pretty opaque, but still it's got that wash as well. Last but not least is Terra, which is the orangey terracotta shade my normal kind of colour that I would go for. This one smells. <laughs> the other ones didn't smell, this one smells. But both this one and Echo, you get a decent amount of product on the brush. Although I do feel like Echo came out the richest just straight away. This one is a bit like Lawn, you do have to Use your fingers with this to blend it out a bit. But this looks really nice blended out. I do really like the way this looks. It is quite rich. When you blend it out, it does get quite sheer. And it's a lot darker than it swatches initially. It kind of doesn't look too dissimilar from the brown. So I'm going to go in with a second coat of Terra just to see how that builds up. It is much more pigmented but now it's quite patchy. So guys that is pretty much it. This is the Echo and this is the Terra. For today I'm going to go in with the brown. So guys that is my finished look. I do really like this eyeshadow. I wasn't really expecting to like it as much as I did. I think it's just a really nice shade and it just looks really kind of chilled very natural and very cool. I don't even feel like you need mascara with this eyeshadow, especially the brown one, uh, but I just put it on because why not? Out of all the three, I definitely think my favorite is this one because it's so random, but my most wearable favorite is this one. This one's definitely the biggest disappointment, but I think it's still nice and I will try and use it with other bases and other eyeshadow primers because I think it, it can, if I learn to play with it a bit more, it might work out better. But I think if you could only get two, I would probably get these two because I think they're just very different and very cool. And definitely what I think a Glossier eyeshadow should do and should be like. I think Glossier are really onto a good thing here. I really like it. And I also really like this look on my eyes as well. It looks very natural and it was very easy to do. I literally just swiped this on and left it. <laughs> so, happy days. This is a close up of the Echo all over my lids. I really like it, I think it's really cool, really unexpected, very chill, very laid back. I'm really happy with all of these through. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope you like this video. If you haven't subscribed already guys, please subscribe, we would love to have you in the Slap family. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.